This is where the doctor carried out his curious studies. I dread to think what kind of experiments he used to get up to in here. My memory is still a bit hazy. They call this place Chantry Cottage. I don't remember why, but there's been grand buildings around here for centuries. What have we got here then? 24th of January, 1823. My dear William, I hear by your father that you will return in a few days to Bristol. Be assured you will take with you my best wishes and affections. I am happy to certify that no boy could behave better than you did during your stay with me at the Chantry. Pursue this line of good conduct, and you will be happy yourself. And make your father and everyone who loves you happy too. Your affectionate uncle, E.J. Okay. I know what else we have to get. We have to get this. This deserves closer inspection. The River Severn cuts through the English county of Gloucestershire, linking Bristol in the south with Gloucester. The Vale of Barclay lies on the south bank of the river, between the two cities. Oh. I remember now, his second home was in Cheltenham, Gloucester Way. Fine town. This was a breakfast room. I always imagined this was a centre of family life in the doctor's home. Home cooked food. Definitely something to come back to later. Ah, four candles. The condition of a servant would be too severe were they not allowed some time which they may call their own. In all well-governed families, a maid servant has the liberty every Sunday or every other Sunday of going to church. If she neglects it, it discovers she has little sense of true religion and may well be suspected of failing in her duty to an earthly master and mistress when she fails in that to her maker. Respectable families expect their pound of flesh from domestic servants. Another cupboard. I'll have to try a different way. More comfort than I'm used to, but I can't put my feet up now. By all accounts, the doctor didn't travel much, but he had correspondence from all around the world. Apples from the doctor's garden. He's a big fella, isn't he? The lady of the house had good taste in furniture. A painting by the doctor's nephew, Stephen. Okay, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. It was the most terrible of the ministers of death, always present, filling the churchyard with corpses tormenting with constant fears all whom it had not yet stricken. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Yet. Apples from the doctor's garden. More comfort than I'm used to, but I can't put my feet up now. I've right, got to get those three things. I have no idea where they're at. Small cupboard, but probably bigger than my cell. This isn't the only way out of the breakfast room, you know. Oh, is there anything here? There's some special. It was called the Chantry. Right. From having in former times been in the possession and of that certain monks, something. it is contiguous to the churchyard of Barclay Castle, and the tower of St Mary's Church overhangs the southern boundary of the shrubbery. That's it. Oh, I've been this door. Henry, this place were a home for priests. Priests. Oh. The dining room. That fine mahogany table was the perfect place to make my inventory. That portable desk came with me on all my jobs. Can't believe that miserly pawnbroker only gave me a shilling for it. The doctor had a lot of paintings, but I never figured out who all the artists were. That's the doctor. His eyes follow you around the room. It's a pretty good game. It's a wine cooler. And he had an impressive collection of wines in his cellar too. For a simple VR game that's eight ninety five. That's one of them Gilray caricatures. I'll Pretty come back cute. to it when I've explored a bit more. That portable desk came with me on all my jobs. Can't believe that miserly pawnbroker only gave me a shilling for it. The charred remains of a scientific manuscript. Not much use right now. 
It looks like a genuine work by Bassan. It's been damaged at one point, but preserved with great care. Ah, this paper's everywhere. I'll come back and tidy it later. That's one of them Gilray caricatures. I'll come back to it whenever we... On Thursday last at two o'clock, a balloon was launched from the inner court of Barclay Castle, which rose to a very great height and was visible for a quarter of an hour. The same afternoon, it was seen to descend in a field in the parish of Kingscote, about 10 miles from Barclay. The locals were so much terrified that they could not for some time be prevailed upon to approach it. Ah, this paper's everywhere. I'll come back and tidy it later. Every a small quantity of the serum of human blood was poured over about a square foot of grass. Three sprinklings were given at the distance of a fortnight each, amounting to the serum contained in 40 ounces of blood. The effects it has produced on the vegetation of the grass is astonishing. It is beautifully green and thick and has sprung up several inches, while the surrounding grass has but just begun to shoot and looks of a yellowish green. Okay. I wouldn't have left things this untidy. I still have my professional pride back then. That's a wine cooler, and he had an impressive collection of wines in his cellar too. Okay, that's it for this room, I think. So we go out here. And yeah, what's this? Something else may jolt my memory further. Oh, that's where that door is. <clears throat> Have no idea now. Smallpox. Where's the experiments one? Home cooked food. Certainly Service. something to come back to later. The condition of a servant would be too severe were they not allowed some time which they oh, may call their own. What the hell is this? In all well governed families, wow, it's very a white. servant has the liberty every. Thus, our hero, oh. being plundered of his estate and bereaved of his children, says. The fuck's this naked shit? Came I out of my mother's I'm in a graveyard. Room, and naked shall I return thither. What's the this? Lord gave it left hideous traces of its power on those small, whose small lives it spurred. Turning the babe into a changeling, at which the mother shuddered, and making oh. the eyes and oh, cheeks wow, look of at the that. big hearted maiden that objects looks cool. of horror to the lover. <laughs> Alright. That was a bit weird. Beethoven and Mozart survived the smallpox with just a few scars, but many that survived it ended up blind pretty as good. well. It's done by a university, this game, apparently. It's pretty good. At length, the infection spread to the palace. I've got to go back the to the other room for the service queen. one. Queen she Mary received II. the intimation of her danger with true greatness of soul. She gave orders that every servant who had not had the smallpox should instantly leave Kensington House and then calmly awaited her fate. Lord Dalkeith has been dead of the smallpox for just three days. It is so dreadful in his family. His eldest boy died of it last year and his only brother, who was ill but two days, putrefied so fast that his limbs fell off as they lifted him into the coffin. This deserves closer in six children from the same family last Okay, I have been someone else. The breakfast room shut Not every family was as unlucky as these poor souls, but one in five of those who caught it wouldn't live to tell the tale. Unfortunately, not everyone who survived the smallpox could live with the terrible scars it left behind. Sadly, some even took their own lives. Okay, I've opened up another door. I the condition no, of a servant this would be too severe. Where were your interviews for a new housemaid? Fruitful, Mrs. Knight. Oh, wow. Yes, madam. Both uh -huh. girls were hard working and from respectable families, but only the Jones girl has had the pox and plenty of scars to that? prove it. Like then you must select her. I will not risk the health of my family. Pox scarring could often be a path into service. If you were lucky enough to survive the speckled monster, then you couldn't catch it again. Smallpox was a cruel, hideous disease. It's no wonder they call it the Angel of Death. Okay. I have no idea where to go now. Um, I'm still lost. That's just a cupboard. There's no way through here. I've opened up that one. So I must have opened up another Something's door. changed. I'm sure those stairs were blocked a oh, minute yeah. ago. I've got the stairs now. 
Okay. Go in this room. This also gives us to consider that diseases are not only judiciously inflicted for past offenses, but graciously also <coughs> designed to prevent future. A little recollection will tell a man whether he has not often been kept virtuous through fear of the consequences, even when inclination has gotten the better of his duty. Half of them took my consumption. Probably get me too. I don't get much fresh air. He was lying in the last stage of pulmonary consumption. He had repeated hemorrhages from the lungs and was then evidently approaching his end. I was introduced into the sick room and there for the first time I saw Mrs. Jenner, the anxious and constant attendant of her dying child. Master Walker must have been a bright spark then. Another cupboard. I'll have to try a different way. Nice landscape. Nice landscape. Selected poems by the late John Dawes Worgan of Bristol, who died on the 25th of July, 1809, aged 19 years. So the young tutor died of consumption the year before the doctor's son. I feel greatly obliged to everyone who attempts to console me in my present affliction. But you, who know so much of the human mind, are convinced how vain are these friendly efforts. I had no conception till it happened that the gash would have been so deep, but God's will be done. Okay, well, I'll check it in. His eldest son had a feeble constitution and other infirmities which rendered it inexpedient to send him to a public school. A domestic tutor was procured who was little older than his pupil, but though tender in years, he was old in wisdom and knowledge. He met with many discouragements his notions having been treated with scorn and ridicule by some, and with indifference by almost all. There was plenty of paperwork in the dining room I could look through. Okay, um... I think is in this one? Were your interviews for a new housemaid fruitful, Mrs. Knight? I forget. Yes, madam. Both girls were hard working and from respectable families, but only the Jones girl is at the pox, and plenty of scars to prove it. Well, you really must cool. select her. I will yeah. not risk the health of my family. Uh, I forget what really cool was. Uh, Maybe. I have entrusted a most important matter to you, which I firmly believe will prove of essential benefit to the human race. I should not wish what I have stated to be brought into conversation. Or should anything untoward happen, I should be made, particularly by my medical brethren. The On Thursday last at two o'clock, a balloon was launched from the inner court of Barclay Castle, which rose to a very great height and was visible for a quarter. A small quantity of the serum of human blood was poured over about a square foot of ground. I have entrusted a most important matter to you, which I firmly believe will prove of essential benefit to the human race. I should not wish what I have stated to be brought into conversation. For should anything untoward happen, I should be made, particularly by my medical brethren, the subject of ridicule, for I am the mark. So your book is out at last. Well, I can tell you that there be not a copy sold in our town, nor shan't neither, if I can help it. Let's take a closer look. There nibbling at thistles stand Jim, Joe and Mary. Right. On their foreheads, oh horrible, crumpled horns bud. There Tom with a tail and poor William all hairy. Reclined in a corner, are chewing the cud. He must have believed in something to have resisted so much scorn. Okay. This was the doctor's dressing room. Looks more like a laboratory. An unfortunate cuckoo, apparently. A paper about cuckoos. Not useful right now. William and Mary. She's the queen that died of smallpox. The doctor's previous education nor his habits gave him a relish of any of the branches of pure science. He seemed to have a peculiar horror of arithmetical questions, and he exclaimed that he would rather look for an hour at a mite through a microscope than have his time taken up with such things. William and Mary, she's the queen that died of smallpox. I selected a healthy boy, about eight years old, for the purpose of inoculation for the cowpox. The matter was taken from a sore on the hand of a dairymaid who was infected by her master's cows. It was inserted on... 